All my gamers and friends is your guy, Jack Shy Guy, and today we're going to talk about Horde Rush. So this was the new LTM that came out um, about two days ago. I actually got deactivated but for a day, and um, it came back yesterday morning. And these challenges can be pretty tricky, and I want to help you with um, the certain one at the last one, which is pretty hard to get a score of 200,000 or like 150,000, because that can be challenging as well. But anyways, without without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. So, 30 KO streak is X4. This is X1, but uh, 30 is uh, X4. And basically, you need to keep this headshot streak going because it will help you a lot. Um, because basically, you you can just get it to like if you keep it consistent enough, then you can keep it towards the end of the match, which would be really good, and it'll just help your score dramatically. And you'll probably get like first place. Next up, we got multiplier bonuses. So, there will be three at round one, and it's it will be scattered out uh, between the rounds. Basically, you're going to want to get these multiplier bonuses because they will help you out dramatically. <clears throat> because, basically, what will happen is as you gain those X4s, um... It will add up a lot, and you really want this. One tip I do recommend if you're having any trouble with the Horde Rush game mode is it is play at night. What I experienced uh, playing from day to night yesterday is day, there's a lot of little kids that play. And they're not very good at the game. And they're not gonna really pay attention to you. You're gonna you, you're gonna maybe ask them to do things, but they're not gonna do them. If you play at night, there's adults, and they know what they're doing. And you can be going strong, and you might not even get first place. Like they're really good, and they are not going to make small talk. They're just gonna play the game and get you high points and be confident. So play with people who know who they're talking about, know what they're talking about, so play at night, because that's when more adults play, and they're actually serious about the game. It, it, I know it might sound, like, petty, but it's really, really true. Like, my scores, um, like, dramatically changed when I played at night, um, it went from about like a hundred thousand maybe to like two hundred and seven thousand. It was dramatic change. It was a dramatic change, and you'll pretty much find no little kids playing at like I was playing at about eleven oh seven. So you might want to try to play at that type of time. Again, this is a very strong recommended tip. But, of course, you have to play throughout the daytime because you'll get tired. But if you're really struggling to get that fiend rap, then do what I said. Just play at night because there's definitely, yeah, there's not going to be little kids on. All right. So, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, shoot these ice guys. Now, they will throw things and they'll make your ice... Slippery. This can be either good or bad. Basically, if you're on the hill and they make your ice, your feet ice, then you're gonna slip down the hill and lose a lot of damage, a lot of health from the storm. So just definitely try to kill these ice ones as well as the uh, stink ones. They'll just die and explode explode into stink and the, uh, the stink will hurt you so you gotta uh, watch out for those ones as well all right that is gonna be it for my tips and tricks just try to keep consistent play at night get those score multipliers 
kill those ice zombies and stinks. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and good luck getting that awesome wrap. It is animated and it's going to look so cool with my combo. I'll have to show you guys sometime. Bye.